Into the radius protects the player, you in this case, as alone in a crumbling world surrounded by a blinding fog, slowly eating away at your sanity as you yearn for social needs. I mean, you're in an apocalypse and you're pretty much by yourself. So technically zero bit, but that would be the best case scenario. Truth be told, you're not alone. No longer mourn for me when I am dead, then you shall hear the surely solemn bell give warning to the world that I am fled. From this vile world, with vilest worms to dwell, nay, if you read this line, remember not the hand that writ it, for I love you so, that I'm in your sweet thoughts, would be forgot. If thinking on me, then should make you woe. Oh, if I say, I say. You look upon this verse, when I perhaps compounded, I am with clay. Do not so much pour my name rehearse, for I am alone with this sullen curse. Although not being alone sounds good, it's, in this apocalypse at least, definitely not a good thing. Because the only company you have is monsters beyond recognition, which at any chance they would get, they would tear you limb from limb. And the only way to protect yourself is shitty guns, which was probably sold on eBay for some Robux without being pedicured properly. And I do like a good pedicured gun. Like, no military-grade shit, just like a shitty, like, Makarov. So you may not be alone, but you're left with company which wishes you were. Luckily, the game has some sort of hub, which seems to be filled with life, but... Life can never be found. So much so, all the shops are empty, and have become automated using 3D printers and robots for medical care making you feel if you're the sole survivor of the apocalypse. Feeding the thought of the only way to escape is acceptance of your fate, and maybe even speeding the process up. And this sense of mystery on not knowing where anyone is, deadass, makes this game so intriguing. Like, you don't know if the game company has like added a new update every time you play to maybe even and other people. Because the story in this game is really loose. It, like, you don't know exactly what the story is. And also, this game is fucking terrifying. The ambience in the game can make you shit yourself on its own. And you can literally hear children crying in the distance. And every time you go look to find the children, they're not there. Like, they're non-existent. Literal insanity. Although it's completely terrifying, I mean, every time you hear a voice of another living human, it still kind of gives you hope, even though you hear it so commonly. You still feel hope, which, truth be told, is close to insanity. Now, this may not be accurate, nor may people agree with me, but I feel like the game represents the mental decay of the characters, as the game has so many outrightly insane things, like a hand bursting through a wall, with a cigarette in grasp, with a finger as a flame to light it. I'm not very educated in this field, but people can sometimes use cigarettes as an escape, and a way to numb the pain. Yet, even in a world which is constantly out to end the character's physical being, is literally handing the character a way to numb the pain and help them get through it, which could be representing the character's slow descent into insanity and depression, as even though the cigarette is seen as a way to numb the pain in the short term, it still kills you in the long term. So seeing something so enlightening with a moment of pain, making the character feel happy, is truthfully a descent towards the end, as the character keeps smoking, again, and again, expecting shit to change. Yet it doesn't. It won't. It can't. And I know it's a VR game, and it's done by your actions. I'm trying to do analysis from the possibilities within the game, 
Because I know from playthrough to playthrough, some people aren't going to be smoking their fucking brains out every single second they got a hold of one. But in the game, it feels like such a natural thing to do for some reason. It just feels like it's something you have to do. Making me truly believe what I'm saying. And make me believe that this is the best VR survival game. The world is corrupted. There's nowhere to turn, nowhere to go. As everything near you wants to kill you. I mean, some may say loneliness is worse than death. But that's for you to choose. You know when you breathe oxygen and it's like, then it's like, and you live? Oh my mama, I be breathing.